Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Center News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick preview to our Philadelphia Phillies versus the New York Mets as the Phillies look to bounce back from a bad series against one, the Mets last time on the road, but two, the Texas Rangers getting swept in the two game set against the Rangers. As Nola looks to see his starts continuing to progress in the right direction, that if we look at the last three for Aaron Nola, pitch a good five in the third game against Colorado, pitched a great seven against Milwaukee, and a good six innings against the Mets. So it's just trying to get through that bugaboo inning still for Nola, where Walker, the last time out against the Phillies, pitched a clean five innings. For the Phillies, it's about getting Kyle Schwarber going, continuing to see the hotness of Alec Bohm and Nick Castellanos. Real Muto hit a homer. Hopefully that gets him back going again. Segura getting back to the pre-injury gene. Uh, Johan Camargo is kind of doing what is expected. And then Oduble, we need to have continue to hit. It's about finding consistencies. Like I said in the video that I'll share at the end of this recap in that series with the Texas Rangers, there's been no continued consistency. If there's pitching in one game, there's not enough hitting. If there's not enough uh, pitching, then there is actually more hitting in that game, but they still lose, like, say, 7-6 to six or something like that. So there uh, just needs to be more consistency with this team going forward. I think in the first game it is at least a even pitching matchup because Walker's still working his way back from injuries and trying to build up his innings, where Aaron Nola is ahead of him. Scherzer against Gibson, obviously you got to give the advantage to Scherzer. It don't matter how good Kyle Gibson's pitching early. Max Scherzer's a future Hall of Famer. Kyle Gibson isn't, but he's a hell of a pitcher early this season for a Philadelphia Phillies. So you got to give credit where credit's due, where... He struggled bunnied last outing against the Mets, only pitching four and a third, but being able to battle for us on his five walks, where the only other bad game he had where he gave up a plethora of walks was his other struggle game against Miami. But in three of his five starts, he's been able to go at least five. So if he can keep that trend going, they're going to still have a good chance. The problem is going to be if the Phillies can hit man max enough and also pitch well enough in that game. Because last series, they were able to score. I believe that was a 10-6 to game. They were able to score enough. But, obviously, they're pitching again. So it's about consistency with this team. Their pitching was not able to hold up in that one. Sometimes it's the hitting. Other times it's the pitching. Sometimes it's both. So it's about finding overall consistency for this team. Bassett versus Eflin, we know who wins that pitching match. So on paper, uh, Chris Bassett wins that all the way ever since the A's got a hold of him. He's been a stud. He has an under one whip. Eflin is starting to seem like get it back and trend, but I would have to lean towards the Mets in that one. With the first start in this one, I think if the Phillies can win the first game, they have a very good chance at at least splitting this four-game series. If they don't, though, they might be in deep doo-doo because they have to face Mad Max then. Then they have to face Bassett. And then they have to face Cookie, where Cookie is still a very good pitcher, Carlos Carrasco. Obviously, they're still you can beat him. He's a hit or miss each day, but he's still been doing very good this year. And then Rangers going to have to snap it back and actually have a more consistent start and not the inconsistent start he had against the Texas Rangers where he had his moments, but overall was not the Rangers Suarez you would fully want to see it. So I think this series literally hinders on game one if they have a chance to split it because I do think the Phillies, if they can get the home runs off of Mad Max again, which they've been able to do in the past, at least hit home runs off of them, maybe they can win that game if they have a very good game from Kyle Gibson. Carrasco versus Suarez is a is a kind of even pitching matchup. Eflin versus Bassett, they definitely win that one. So, and obviously, when it comes to Scherzer, they win the pitching matchup. But like I said, the Phillies have been able to at least hit home runs against Mad Max. So, if they can keep that up, maybe they can split this series. But unfortunately, coming in... Uh, I would say on paper, which nothing comes out on paper. That's why I think from my own optimism-wise and the fact that um, I usually tend to look at things glass half full until you just can't. Um, and you know that from some of my videos with hockey. I would say they have a good chance of splitting this series, but the way that they have the best chance of doing it is by taking game one because Nola against a guy that's not fully stretched out yet in Walker. If you're able to jump on Walker, that's huge. If you're able to then get the home runs off of Mad Max, I feel like Gibson pitching, how he's been pitching most of the games this year, will be the best way to be able to win the other game because Eflin versus Bassett, that favors them. And then Cookie versus Suarez is even, but we have to see. We still haven't seen the best Suarez yet. We've seen a good battle version of Suarez, but I don't think that battle version is going to beat an offense like the Mets. So 
this series has the potential to only be a one of four, but I'm hoping that's not the case and they're able to take two of four, and I think the best chance would be with the first game. But this has been a preview and analysis and takes on what I think could happen in this first um, four-game series of the season against the New York Mets for the Philadelphia Phillies. As the last time they had a four-game series, it worked out well for them, but I don't think... Uh, it's not that we expected them to sweep the Rockies, but I definitely don't foresee that against the Mets. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below. Or up above, needs you to switch to keep channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. Go Phillies. Try to impress us out there and get some consistency going. Peace out, everybody.